everybody, thanks for watching. My name is Jessica Holmes and I'm down here at Jenkins & Wynn Ford Lincoln Honda in Clarksville, Tennessee. Today I'm going to tell you all about the Civic and its different options. Today we have with us a Civic sedan and a Civic hatchback. It's also available in a two-door coupe. taking a look at the 2017 Honda Civic Sedan. Uh, we're currently looking at the Turing model, which is going to be your top of the line. Um, Honda has two Civic engines available. You've got the 2.0 standard engine, and this particular one has the 1.5 turbo, which is something that's all new for Honda, introduced in 2016. As we're looking at the Civic, you can see it comes standard uh, on the Turing model with 17-inch alloy wheels, keyless entry as well. And then on all Honda Civics, as you can see, there's going to be a backup camera standard and then as um, available Bluetooth. On the Honda Civic, as you can see, it's got quite a bit of trunk space. Floor mats come standard. <laughs> and then of course, right in there, you've got a 4060 fold seat. The Turing model comes with a Turing badge, so it kind of sets you apart from everybody else. You've got the chrome handles. And then on this side, uh, Honda's new Lane Watch camera, which uh, many people are becoming very, very happy with over the few years that I've seen it introduced. There's a general overview of the outside. Let's take a look at the inside. So in the 2017 Honda Civic, you have a lot of safety features that are uh, available. As you can see, you've got the lane departure warning over here. Um, the button actually is lit up with a green uh, mark indicating that it's actually on and then above it you've got your forward collision warning which is always on but if you press it it will actually turn on or off. Uh, right over here at the turn signal if you press the button at the end you can actually see the camera on your uh, right hand side when you make a right turn. You can touch it or if you turn on your blinker it'll pop up for you automatically. Um, over here on the right hand side in any model with a sensing or with the Turing model which has these features standard it's you're gonna see that you have a little car over here and that's going to be your adaptive cruise control as well as with the little steering wheel. So what we're looking right here at in the middle is basically your radio control, your navigation control, everything like that. Um, in the Turing model standard is going to uh, navigation is going to come standard. Um, you also have the option um, in any of the models to hook your phone up to the Bluetooth setting, um, things like that. You also have the Honda Link app, which is gonna actually help you if, like say for instance, you get into a wreck, it's gonna help call 911 for you, so on and so forth. Right down here, as you can see, you actually have two options or two little turn dials. Those turn dials are actually the dual climate control in the vehicle. Um, if I'm pulled over here, I can turn my temperature down to low, and then this one um, on the passenger side can control their temperature. Um, and we can stay on two different temperatures at the same time. Right here, if you hit this little climate button, it actually controls like where your airflow is going as well as the speed. And then down here, you'll notice that you have your heated seats. So now I'm gonna show you how to do the actual CarPlay, which is very famous here, or Android Auto, whatever phone or device that you have. You can actually hook up um, in the Civic models and some other Honda models, your phone, and it'll actually show on the screen for you. So you can kind of customize it to you like. So you can actually get an EX model and have navigation without actually having to pay for the navigation other than using your data on your phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my USB port down here um, to where the plug is at. And one of my favorite things about the Civic is you can actually run your cord right through here on this little shelf. And if you'd like, go ahead and just lay your phone right there on the shelf. When you plug up your phone, this is what's gonna show. Um, and I'm just gonna enable it once for demonstration purposes. Um, then you'll have to get on your phone and enable the CarPlay or allow it. And I'm gonna go ahead and allow it. And then as you can see, the Apple CarPlay is gonna show up on your screen. And all you've gotta do to pre is press it once it's all hooked up. You've got your phone, your music. So you actually never technically have to have your phone hooked up to the Bluetooth in order to actually have your phone hooked up through the car um, if you don't want to. Right here, I can access my music and I'll show what I've recently played, so on and so forth. Right here, you've got this Honda um, little link or whatever, and it brings you back to the home screen. And simply, if you just want to get back onto the Apple CarPlay, all you've got to do is press Apple CarPlay. It'll bring it back up. 
If you swipe your screen to the side, it'll bring up any of your apps like your iHeartRadio, Pandora, Spotify, or any others that you might even listen to. And you can press on Google Maps and it'll bring it up. If you want to go to a destination, all you've got to do is hit destinations. It'll actually bring up your previous destinations and it'll break it down into a category of gas, parking, uh, restaurants, coffee shops, things like that. Um, and if you want to, you can actually um, search by voice. So all you've got to do is press the little mic. Where would you like to go? Burger King. One option is Burger King, which averages two and a half stars and is inexpensive. Let me know if you want to hear the whole list. Isn't that neat? When you have your phone hooked up to the CarPlay, you can actually use the Siri function if you'd like. Um, all you have to do is press and hold the talk button, and you'll hear Siri's classic bing, and you'll tell her what she, you know, she can help you with. Classic Honda style, you've got an econ button. Um, the econ button reduces the torque shift in the vehicle, or basically, in layman's terms, it just takes a little bit of your get up and go power away and helps maximize your fuel economy. Now we're gonna take a brief look at the uh, 2017 hatchback sport model. The unique characteristics about the hatchbacks over the traditional sedans or even the coupes are the fact that it's technically, I guess you would say, it's a five door. On the hatchbacks, they also have a blacked out grill as well as blacked out rims, so it gives it a lot more sporty of a look. On the Sport, it actually has a carbon fiber uh, dashboard uh, option as well as chrome pedals, and you'll see it very much similar in to characteristics like the Accord. Um, so we're gonna take a look around here. Now, I wanted to touch on one thing. Uh, standard on all of the Civics, you do have the capless fuel system. Um, when your doors are locked, this will be locked as well. But as you can see, there's no cap. All you do is stick the pump in, pump your gas, you're good to go. Let's take a look at what makes the hatchback a hatchback. And that's gonna be this actual trunk area. And you also have this spoiler right here, as well as a spoiler up top. When you pop the trunk of the hatchback, you've got your soft button right there. You see our camera going up. Right here, you've got your two cargo shades. You actually have a split cargo shade. So if you needed to, you could leave this one in. If you had a taller object, you could actually take this one out. One of the things that makes the Civic unique is actually that the cargo shade opens from side to side. So you have the option of just pulling it like this. And then if you even need the extra space, you can actually take this little bar out for more storage. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you're interested, stop on by anytime or shop online at JenkinsonWind.com and be sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel.